In a pandemic, election day really goes on all week, with Elections Canada staff still verifying, then counting, an unprecedented number of mail-in ballots, making sure no one voted twice. In places where there were a lot of mail-in ballots, it could be Thursday or Friday because we're just trying to make sure we're carefully following every step. Even by this afternoon, CBC News was unable to project results in 15 ridings, with vote counts coming in so slowly. And the pandemic brought other trouble too. Honestly, the locations weren't very convenient. I didn't like the lines very much. I live downtown Toronto. Indeed, in the biggest cities like Montreal and Toronto, voters endured huge lineups well into the night. Some queues kept going and going, a whole city block and beyond. Finally, after three hours, we got to vote. How ridiculous. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No, no, it's way too long. The University of British Columbia may have seen the worst wait of all, with the last voter only emerging at 10.38 p.m. Pacific. About three and a half hours. And was it worth it? Uh, I don't know, it's tough to say. It seems like it was already kind of like decided. Today, Elections Canada acknowledged we know we did not meet all voters' expectations in terms of accessibility at UBC. And elsewhere, too, with the sight of long lineups, consider how many voters may have just walked away. So far, turnout looks to be lower than last time. A downward trend can't be allowed to start now, this expert warns, so lessons must be learned. Listen to people, make it elections meaningful, and then people will engage even if they might have to wait a little bit longer at line. Getting through the pandemic is the first step toward a more normal vote. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.